In this short video, we're going to look at the new machine translation functionality that's been introduced in the 2206 release of SAP Enable Now. So I have my S4 system up on the screen at the moment, and I've created a couple of help tiles in here. I'm only showing custom content to keep it simple, but I've created two new help tiles, one called New Users Start Here, one called New Translation Functionality. Now I created these in English because that's my best language, but I've logged on to S4 in Dutch. Say I'm really a Dutch user, so you can see everything in here is in Dutch. Now with 2206, I have an option to be able to translate my help content basically on the fly. And I have a new button down here at the bottom of the help stripe, which allows me to translate my content. And if I click on that button, as if by magic, all of my help content has now been translated into the interface language, which in this case is Dutch. So now I have tiles of new Gebruxers beginning here and newer Vital functionality instead. So it's completely translated that for me on the fly. I can switch back to English, back to Dutch. If I go into a particular bubble and see the actual content of that bubble, I have the same button available to me here. So even though the whole of the, of the carousel is in English, I can translate just this bubble if I want into Dutch or whatever my target language is. So it's very, very effective, very, very quick. The quality of the translation is actually very, very good because SAP has all of these languages itself. It speaks SAP terminology, so it's been specifically tweaked for an SAP interface, which a lot of the commercial translation functionality hasn't been. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to get this to work. First of all, so that you get this translation button on the help stripe and in the bubbles, you have to use a parameter of allow ML translations equals true for allow machine language translations equals true. That is case sensitive, MLT has to be uppercase, everything else in lowercase. So that parameter has got to be in there. Obviously, normally you'd put that into the parameters of the Fury catalog and not into the URL, I'm just testing it here. The other thing that needs to happen is this translation is actually done by SAP Translation Hub. So you're going to need a subscription to that. It is a paid service, it's not hugely expensive, but it is something that you're paying for. The other thing to bear in mind with that is that this translates it on the fly every time. So if every user goes in here and translates it, you're going to be, be paying for every user translating it every time. It doesn't save that translation anywhere. For the length of the session, I believe it still retains it. So I, as a user, I've translated this. If I carry on on this screen and I flip back to English, then back to Dutch, it's going to use the same translation. It's not going to retranslate it. But if I log off, log on again, then translate it, it's a new session, it's going to charge me to translate it again. So do watch out for that. If you find that users are always translating particular screens, you might want to translate that once and offer the help actually in their language. Anyway, you've got to have that subscription to SAP Translation Hub. And you need to define that in your manager so that it knows where to find that translation service. And that is in the server settings on the manager. And there's a new section that's just been added for 2206 called Machine Translation for SAP Companion, which is exactly what we're doing here. And you're going to need a client ID, client secret, service URL, I believe is pretty much always the same, and a token URL as well. Those are the same things that you would set if you're already using machine translation within producer. It's exactly the same values that you're using there, where you set up your machine translation. So um, that's all you need. You've got to have that in place, and you've got to have this allow ML translations equals true. But if you've got those things and your subscription to Translation Hub, this works very, very well into any of the languages that SAP Enable now supports, which is now up to 30 odd, I believe, or something like that. Anyway, that was it. Very brief introduction. Very, very nice functionality, especially for corporations that are global, but still build all of their content in English. This dynamic translation, very, very good. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.